So what did you figure out? I, I saw some people came up with one and 35. So one times 35 equals 35. Some of you put in seven times five equals 35. Is there anything else? I'm thinking, well, the number is 35. This is an odd number. So I know I can't multiply by two. And if I count by three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. No, so three, I can't multiply. I can't multiply four because that's also going to have to be an even product. Six, no, seven, seven we got, eight, no, nine, no, 10, no. I think I got them all. So we have numbers in our number system that have factors. In fact, every number has at least two factors. But I've been starting to think about which numbers in my number system might only have two factors and no more than that. So I want you to think about that. Are there any numbers that only have two numbers we can multiply to get that number? How could I determine that? What could I do to my hundreds chart? Or how could I go through my hundreds chart to figure out which numbers only have two factors? Could I pull some numbers out of my hundreds chart? Well, we just determined 35 has four factors. So I'm gonna take that one out. What other numbers might I be able to take out of my hundreds chart? So here's what I want you to do in our first little assignment this week. You are going to be going through a hundreds chart. I'm going to give you a digital hundreds chart and you're going to take that hundreds chart and I want you to color in, I don't care what color, have fun with the colors, every number that you know has more than two factors. And I'm just gonna, the first step we're going to do is we're just gonna give it a try. See what happens, color in numbers you think that have more than two factors. And then later this week, we're gonna talk about it a little bit more and you're going to get another thing to do with this hundred chart because our goal this week is to determine what numbers between one and 100 have only two factors.